Hey guys, it's Jennifer, aka Creole Azu Car, and I am back. Um, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my HG product video. This video has been highly requested, and I know it took me a long time to um, get it out to you, but it's going down today. And I have narrowed down my HG products and the way I define an HD product is if I could only have this particular product in each category, basically like until the end of time, I would be good. Um, that means it works well with anything I pair it with, um, that it meets all my criteria for what I'm looking for in that particular product as well. So. Um, yeah, I hope you guys will pay close attention to this video. Um, I'm going to show you as much as I can as far as, you know, giving you um, a description of the product and showing it to you briefly. If I can't, it's because the product is not open and that means it's not for me. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. And if you guys have any questions about anything, you can definitely ask me. And we'll get into the meat and bones of that, hopefully, in a conversation in the comment section below. So the first category that I want to jump into are cleansing conditioners. And the product that I'm going to talk about, I know you've heard me talk about it before. I want to say it was like my second video ever on YouTube. This product is like, I cannot live without it. I would not be without it if I was deserted, stranded on a desert island. This is the one product that I would want because it can do it all. And that product is Win. And yes, I have the gallon size. Don't judge me. That should be an indication of how good this stuff is. This is actually the um, tea tree formula. Um, I believe Chaz now has eight or nine formulas um, that are regularly offered, um, you know, not including the seasonals. I've pretty much tried them all. I think I've tried them all. This one is new for me. I do like it. Um, it smells exactly like tea tree. If you're unfamiliar with what tea tree smells like, good for you because, I mean, it's not one of my favorites. So of the scents, the formulas I'm going to show you, this is my least favorite scent, but the formula is fantastic. And this is a wheat-based one. The other one that I just am in love with, and this is like the first one that I really fell in love with, um, is the Fig. And it, not that I know what Fig smell like, but I mean, the fragrance on these are all kind of whatever for me. They don't really linger too much. I just love the actual formula. And this one is very, 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 very moisturizing. It's formulated for like damaged hair or, you know, coarse, thick, curly um, hair. This is the formula for that. So it's kind of hard for me. Let me see if I can show y'all. Do you see how thick that is? Okay, super thick super duper thick so obviously um the slip and everything with it is amazing leaves your hair moisturized and like i said it is like a one-stop shop product in that it will cleanse your hair you can use it as a deep conditioner you can use it um as a leave-in and as a styler so it's awesome and then tied with fig for me is pomegranate and fig is also wheat based this one is soy based so they all are going to have protein in it. They all have the cleansing botanicals. Your hair will feel clean pretty much no matter what styling agents. I'm not going to say pretty much. Whatever styling agents I use, my hair will get clean if I use this. So those are my HG cleansing conditioners. So the next category that I'm going to go to are co-washes. So the first is the She Scented Blueberry Co-Wash, and I love this co-wash. A little goes a long way. Um, the consistency is fabulous. It smells amazing. It smells like blueberry Jolly Ranchers, um, and the scent does linger, which I love because I love the way it smells. Um, 
it does get your hair clean your hair will be moisturized so this is fantastic and I feel like for the price I mean you're getting nine ounces and I paid $12.50 for this it's pretty doggone awesome um, the next um, HG co-wash for me is the Myel Honeydew Berry um, co-wash and I have a first impressions review of this. Um, I will be doing an in-depth review very soon. I actually love this just because it makes my hair feel like nothing else that I've used. Yes, I love the way this makes my hair feel and I love the slip on this. But these two, even though they're both co-washes, are completely different. That makes any kind of sense. Your hair will definitely be clean. It will definitely be moisturized with either of these. However, this has far more slip and it also um, has a stronger fragrance that will linger. With this one, my hair just feels amazing. It feels soft, moisturized. It also feels stronger and it my hair feels plumper. Um, and I'll definitely get into more detail when I do a full review on this. And the scent is just nice and light. And this is the consistency of it. So, it's great. Um, next, if I actually wanted to cleanse my shampoo my hair. Um, you guys know I don't traditionally use shampoo. I will occasionally get bored and feel like, oh, I want to use a shampoo and a rinse out conditioner and, you know, the life of a product junkie all that stuff. Um, so I have tried a few shampoos. There is one that has made my HG list. I would have a backup and if I had it, I would show it to you, but I don't. So this is absolutely hands down the best shampoo that I found for my natural hair. And that is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. And I don't know if you can kind of see the consistency. It is like a thicker shampoo. Um, the only thing that I do not like about this shampoo is the smell. I hate the smell of this entire line. It's very perfumey to me, and I'm not a perfumey kind of gal. It's very strongly fragranced, and the scent does linger. Those are my only negative attributes for this product. Um, I love it because it does have a little bit of slip. A little goes a long way. One bottle of this would last me, I don't know how long, months, um, especially because I don't shampoo every week. Um, even when I decide that I want a shampoo, it's usually like every other week. Um, it does have a little bit of slip. It does lather, which is nice. My hair definitely feels clean, but it does not feel stripped at all. It actually feels moisturized. So... This is an awesome, awesome, awesome shampoo. If you have not tried this, I would highly, highly recommend it. So then I'm going to go to rinse out conditioners. So the first, I have two actually in this category. And they are neck and neck for me. If I had to live the rest of my life with either one, I would be very happy. It would be okay with me. So the first one is the She Scented Avocado Moisturizing Conditioner. And this is stuff is amazing i know you've heard me talk about it before it was in my 2014 favorites video um and actually i forgot to mention this in my favorites 2014 video definitely should have been in there sorry for that side note but this is awesome it has awesome awesome slip leaves my hair feeling moisturized it smells amazing it smells like some type of now and later it's just phenomenal. So, um, it's like thinner. Um, it's awesome, awesome, awesome rinse out. I love this. So the other rinse out conditioner, and this was also in my favorites 2014 video, is the Silk Dreams Destination Hydration Moisture Conditioner. This too, amazing. Amazing slip. Um, hair feels moisturized. It does smell good. It's very lightly scented. Um, it's just a nice kind of clean, crisp smell without being perfumey, if that makes any kind of sense. But 
Um, it's awesome. And I love, again, that it's in this um, 16 ounce size. So you get a lot for the money. Both this and the um, She Scented are very reasonably priced though. So these are awesome. Um, next, I am going to talk about deep conditioners. So for me, and I actually have three in this category, um, conditioners and deep conditioners are my absolute weakness. They're what I purchase the most of. Um, especially rinse out conditioners because I use, you know, I co-wash. So I don't always use a marketed co-wash for that. I will use a rinse out conditioner. So I am a big fan, admit admittedly, and I will always say that I feel like a deep conditioner should have some protein in it, period. I'm very big on the moisture protein balance. That being said, this conditioner that I'm about to show you does not have protein in it, but I still love it. It makes my hair feel so freaking soft, which I love. That is like it, the main attribute I would like to have in my deep conditioner. And so I am talking about the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. Um, and I actually just got this again finally was able to re-up on it um and the smell is amazing it smells like chocolate oh my god so that's what it looks like and it is so so thick like you can see super duper thick which i love because this will last me probably like 20 deep conditions at least 15 it lasts me a very long time um, so I love it. Like I said, my hair feels soft. It feels moisturized. I love this. I do have a review on it and I will try to link it in the description box below for you. The next one is the Lace Natural Brahmi Root Hair Mask Ayurvedic Deep Treatment. And this is the old packaging. I do have the new one, but um, it's like tucked away in my stash. So this one I really, really enjoy. And it smells good. I can't tell you what it smells like. It's not fruity. It's not perfumey. It's a little bit earthy. And that's what it looks like. Super thick. Super thick. Um, and this one I love because it has the Ayurvedics in there. Your hair really does feel strengthened without having a ton of protein in this conditioner. So it does have wheat protein. I don't even know if you can see that. But it is like the second to last ingredient so your hair feels strengthened without a lot of protein it's those ayurvedic herbs in this particular deep conditioner that are strengthening your hair so you i get softness i get moisture i get strengthening and i get a lot of shine with this deep conditioner i love it i do have a review on this as well i will try to link it in the description box below and then the last um deep conditioner that i have is the myel organics babasu oil and mint deep oil protein treatment. I do not consider this a protein treatment at all whatsoever. It does have um, protein in it, like in the middle of the um, ingredients. I don't know if you can see that. And actually it has wheat amino acids. And if you research these ingredients, a lot of these ingredients are amino acids that are found in our hair. So. This smell I am just freaking in love with. It's very light, crisp, clean, lemony mint smell, like true mint, fresh picked mint. And you can see it's loose, like it's moving a little bit. Um, that's what it looks like. I love it. My hair feels really good. It does feel soft. It feels super moisturized. Um, and I know that it's being strengthened because of the ingredients. It doesn't necessarily feel strengthened like the difference that I feel when I use the Lace Natural um, Deep Conditioner. But this is a really, really good conditioner. I feel like it's a great value um, for the price. And even though it is thin, surprisingly, I probably got about, I have about one more use out of this. And I've used this four times already. So five uses out of eight ounces works for me. Um... The protein treatment that I do use, so this is, I guess, deep conditioner slash protein treatment, excuse me, that is HG for me, is the Curl Junkie Repair Me. 
and I don't know if you can see the ingredients, but there they are. So, um, hydrolyzed keratin protein is the um, third ingredient. And then a bunch of other proteins are right around here. So, this, yes, I would consider this a protein treatment. It says reconstructive hair treatment. And sometimes my hair will be acting wonky or funky and my curls just are not popping or acting right. That's when I know it's time to pull this out. And it does not do me wrong. It does not leave my hair feeling like straw or hard or brittle or anything like that. Um, it does say to follow it up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. And so I do um, do that even though I don't feel like, oh my God, my hair is horrible. I need to put a moisturizing deep conditioner on, um, but I do. So this is really, really good. It is pricey, but I did get a lot of uses out of this 12 ounces. So um, yeah. Then next I'm going to talk about leave-in conditioners and hopefully you can see a trend. I'm trying to go from like cleansing, conditioning, deep conditioning, like your routine as you would go on wash day. So right now we are at leave-in conditioners. So my holy grail, and actually I have two in this category, and I'll explain why. Um, the first is the, and I'm sure this is no, like, nothing new to anyone watching, is the Kinky Girl Curly Not Today. And I love this leave-in conditioner. It works with any and everything that I put on top of it. And I know I will have moisture. If I want to use a gel or a styler or something I know that de does not have any additional moisture, I'm definitely going to start with this because the moisture level is ridiculous. The slip is ridiculous. It's just amazing. If you've never tried this, you need to get it in your life. I definitely do not think you can go wrong with it. The ingredients are amazing and they're very, very short. And the smell smells so good. I can't tell you what it smells like, but it smells good. I love it. So this hands down, I will always have. And I would be happy with it if this is the only leave-in conditioner I could ever have in life. That being said, my other um, leave-in conditioner in this category is the Belle Nouveau Avocado and Shea Healthy Hair Milk. This makes my list because just like the Kinky Curly Night Today, and this is thicker, um, I can't open it. It is sealed. It smells fantabulous. It smells so good. It has amazing, amazing slip. It has amazing moisture. And this to me is kind of like one stop shop. Like if I was going to wear my hair up or if I'm in a rush and I don't want to do the lock method, this is kind of like the all in one lock method because it's water based. It has oils and butters in there. So all that moisture is going to be sealed in. The reason this is HG for me, in addition to it being used as a leave-in, this is the only thing I will use as a moisturizer on dry hair. So if I'm in day three or four of a bun, of a wash and go or something, and my hair just is not feeling right, this is the only thing I will put on dry hair that doesn't make my hair look or feel crazy. My hair will just soak it up. Um, it won't make my hair frizzy. Um, it's just the live all be all. If you have not tried this, you are missing out and you definitely need to pick it up. Um, and then last, next I'm going to talk about the O in the lock method. Um, so my HG O that I use in my lock method is a butter. And it is the main choice, doesn't get much better than this. Y'all already know this is HG for me. It's been HG since I did my initial review of it quite a while ago. Um, I think it's actually my most popular video on my channel. And again, I will try to link it in the description box below for you. I love this butter. It smells really good. It's like a very light kind of citrusy smell. And that's what it looks like. So you can see that it's nice and creamy. And look, it's, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but it is just emulsifying down 
just being on my finger. It's gone. So that's how it just heats up and emulsifies down so nicely. I feel like no matter what texture your hair is, what curl pattern you have, this butter will work for you. I truly, truly believe that. It is magnificent. I feel like the price point is great. I think it's either $15 or $16 for 8 ounces. So this lasts me quite a long time. It's phenomenal. The only oil that I have in this category, I will, will use it to seal occasionally, but I really like it for my scalp massages. Um, and that is the Mayo Organics Mint Almond Oil. Again, this is not the top that comes on it. I actually took this off of the Alicane Naturals oil and put it on here because I started using this more. So this is definitely HG for me. I will always have it because I definitely want to start doing scalp massages at least once a week. I do feel like it's an important part of my regimen for my hair growth. Um, so this hands down is amazing. It's very light. Um, it has soybean oil, sweet almond oil, and peppermint oil. And you can definitely feel the peppermint oil in there working, stimulating those hair follicles. I really can't say enough about this. It's amazing. So now we are at stylers. Hands down, I have had one cream styler, one boot for the longest. It's been HG for the longest time. So for my C and my lock method, um, I will turn to this time and time again, and I know that I'm going to have moisture for days. I could probably use it by itself without a leave-in and a butter on top of it, and I'll probably still have great moisture and great definition. And I'm talking about the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. I love this stuff. Oh, I got a hair in here. I don't want to show y'all with the hair in there. That's not cute. That's what it looks like. So it's nice and creamy, but it's still kind of light, has pretty good slip, it has great ingredients. It smells good, just like all of her other products. It's not as cake battery <laughs> as most of her products go, but it still smells really, really good. Nice and sweet smell, and I just get great moisture and great definition with this. It is a light hold, um, but it works amazing. I love it. I'm going to have two gels that are neck and neck for me. Um, Y'all already know this. Um, it was in my favorites video for 2014, um, both of them. So this is the old formula. I will say that again. It is the Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel. Uh, I love this gel. It is the only gel for me that I find that actually adds moisture to my hair. Um, along with the definition and the hold that I get from this, it's just amazing. And before I started using the product that I've been using for these buns recently, this is what I would use when I'll wear a bun to slick my edges day after day after day, and I would have no buildup, no crunchiness. So I absolutely love this gel. The other gel is the Curl Junkie Pattern Pusher. And again, I believe they have changed this formula. So this is the old formula for this. Um, but it is amazing as well. Um, I don't find that I get additional moisture from it. But I do really like it. The definition is amazing. The slip is amazing. Um, it doesn't get really crunchy unless you over apply it. Which I feel like is a little bit easier to do than with this. It's easier to get crunch from this than this. Um, if that's something that you like, sometimes I do like that because I know, okay, I'm going to wear this wash and go for five days and my wash and go will be where I want it to be like day three. Um, so it's really, really amazing. And I'm sorry, the smell on both of these is really good. This one's a little, I really can't explain what this one smells like. This one is... It's just like a crisp kind of citrusy smell and the new formula smells relatively similar to this. So I only have two more products to show you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. So the next one, y'all know this is my boo. It had to be in this video somewhere. It's the Alicane Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. Um, 
Why, Jennifer, didn't you then show it with the leave-in conditioners? The reason I didn't is because I don't use this as a traditional leave-in. It does not fall in my HG category of a leave-in. Um, I need something that has slip that's going to provide um, moisture and be a strong base for whatever my style is. This is not that for me, so it does not fit into a leave-in conditioner category for me. Yes, I do use it as my initial step in my lock method. However, I always put a creamy leave-in on top of this. I would never just use this, you know, and then a product and expect to have moisturized hair. So this really is HG for me as a refresher spray. I have the um, Allocane Naturals refresher spray. I'm pretty sure I've done a review on it. If so, I'll link it in the description box below. But this to me, if you're wearing a wash and go and you need to refresh that bad boy in the morning, you cannot go wrong with this. It's going to soften your hair and not frizz it out at all and just allow you to manipulate it however you need to manipulate it and add a little bit of moisture. It's fantabulous. Um, the smell did have to grow on me. I do like it now. It is lemon pine solly, but it is what it is, and I really love it. So um, if you've been wanting to try it, you may have an opportunity to do so very soon. Um, or you can just go out and grab it, um, especially, you know, if your Target has it or if you do have a local, um, you know, natural hair boutique near you. Um, you can definitely check out Pampered and Twisted um, online for the majority of these products. Um, $6 flat rate shipping, so that's always great. And then the last product that I'm going to talk about is my HG hair color. If I want color, and yes, I would normally want red, I grab my Henna Stuck Red Raj. And... Um, I just don't know what I can say about this. This is my boo thing, and I don't think I've mentioned it too much um, before. I do have a video showing how I mix my henna, um, and I will uh, would be willing to do a demo video if any of you are interested in how I actually apply the henna and the whole process of that. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know in the description box, and I will definitely put that on my list. But... Um, Y'all know I did do the Shea Moisture color, and it really did great for me. This, too, does wonderfully for me, um, especially, you know, I got some grays popping out. Hopefully, y'all can't see them, but, um, you know, this covers them up, and I like the copper that it turns those grays and the reddish hue that it gives my hair. So, when I'm looking to color my hair, this is usually what I reach for, and it's wonderful. So... That's everything, guys, and I really hope that you um, found this helpful. Um, like I said, it was a highly requested video, so it's my pleasure to finally get it out to you. I hope you pay close attention to the stuff that's in here. You guys know I have a giveaway coming up. So if you have been looking at some of these products and haven't had a chance to try them yet, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you are subscribed so you can watch um, all of the giveaway details that are going to be posted in a video tomorrow. So thank you as always for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please, 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 if you have any questions, comments, if you've tried these products and you love them or hate them, Please tell me in the description box below if you have any suggestions. Um, anything you guys want to talk to me about, please leave your comments below. And I will see you tomorrow for the giveaway details. Thank you. Bye.